Hello, welcome to Guru Grit. My name is Monica and I love hosting this area where we all come together to ask questions and learn from each other. If you'd like to know more, you can read my articles on medium.com under Guru Grit, find me on TikTok under Guru Grit, email me under Guru Grit, info at gmail.com and so forth. So today I want to talk to you about something quite special. And it's something that's come up a few times and it's something that I experienced in my own life. So I really feel deep resonance with what I'm about to talk to you about. And it's how to navigate communication with someone that isn't even speaking to you for whatever reason. Ah, so if you're familiar with more, you know, technical things, something to the effect of remote viewing, we'll say, then you'll know that your subconscious can go and flow absolutely anywhere. It's not bound by space and time as we consider ourselves to be bound by space and time. Therefore, the first thing I would like to address is this. Even if you've never met someone, or if you have, if they block you, if they don't talk to you, if you're broken up, if you're taking break, I don't care what the circumstances are. To me personally, they don't matter. They're all just like costumes, you know, like uh, life's, what is it? Life's a play and all the world's a stage. They're just like going through a costume change. One day they're in love with you, the next day they're not sure. One day this job thinks this, the next day you want another job. You're just changing, it's all temporary. It's just states, you're just going through states. So say you're in a state that you do not currently prefer with a specific person, with an employer, with an offer on a house, a lease on a car, it really doesn't matter, whatever. The way that you think about that thing, even if you don't pick up your phone and call them and say, I think you're trash, you should pay me more, I work very hard for your company. They feel it and they know it. This is why when someone is polite and overtly nice, but yet no one can seemingly get along with them because they just give them the creeps and the heebie-jeebies, this is exactly why. Because what they're thinking, what they're feeling is not in alignment with the way that they're acting. You see this a lot with famous people. They're so media trained. They either have a really dark aura about them or they have zero personality. They're very rarely authentic and everybody can pick that up. Like a dog can tell, a child knows right away. Like very young people and very elderly people can smell it and know right away. But this is the same thing with manifestation. If you want to manifest, uh, you know, a lover and you're walking around thinking how lonely you are and how no one thinks you're good enough, well, they actually don't have to speak to you ever to know that that energy is not one that's compatible or conducive to meeting up with them. Unless they equally feel unlovable and then you get two unlovable people having an unlovely time together, unless they climb themselves out of that hole, which takes a lot of you know, conscious awareness. Nothing wrong in, it, in any of it, but it's just much easier to be happy and attract happy things. So let's start there. So you're subconsciously projecting that. They don't speak to me. They're not interested in me. That job will never hire me. My job will never pay me more. My boss is XYZ. Turn that off. Put a stop to it. That's the first thing I would say. Start thinking of yourself as an important person. Start thinking of yourself as a worthy person. And then watch opportunity find you. Your blessings can actually chase you down. Think of it that way. It's very doable. So change that narrative. The second thing is sometimes, not in all cases, but sometimes, when you affirm, daydream, visualize, and so forth, you do so in an attempt to get what you want. And then that thing doesn't come to you, not because you're not lovable or wonderful or qualified and so forth, because in order for it to come to you, you have to let it go. It's still in your grips energetically. So let's say, your job wants to promote somebody and you never, your name is never pulled from the ether and no one ever thinks to recommend you as they're brainstorming who they're gonna put in that position, in that role, because you're thinking of it so obsessively. It's too up close. Everyone's had that moment where they've literally been holding something and looking for it at the same time, a remote or a pair of glasses or whatever. Let it go. Give them a chance to be inspired, right? 
to, to find you. They want to think it's their brilliant idea that they put you in that role. Let's say it's a lover. Well, the lover wants to think it was their idea to ask you out. They want to feel special that they proposed to you. They want to feel special that they came up to you and asked for your phone number or shot you a glance. So beguiling, okay? Give them a chance to admire you and be struck by their own brilliance. Like, oh, you know, she's going to think I'm amazing. I walked over here and I put the moves on, you know, and you're like, yes, yes, you know? So give the world some space in order for the universe to be able to exercise its creativity in the utmost capacity to delight you when your manifestation actually does show up. It can't come if you don't let it go. You have to release it, put it in the hands of existence, and then existence can kind of like refurbish it and make it a little bit better, embellish it a little bit, spit shine, and then it brings it to you the reason this is necessary is because it does a much better job than you could ever do. So if you're, you know, let's say you're really attached to getting a certain role for employment, a certain person, a certain car, apartment, whatever, you think there isn't anything better. Okay, that's fine. You can have that apartment, that address, that unit, whatever. But you can get a better version of it. You know, let them paint the place. Let them fix the light bulbs and the switches and everything and then move in. You don't want to move in into a dirty place. So it's important to let it go. So yes, take space. Let's say it's a person or a job. You don't have to keep looking at um, you know, social media because that energy goes and flows everywhere. It's hooked itself into that person. So they might not consciously know, but they can feel, they know something. And girls, especially girls, girls are smart. They feel everything, so they definitely know. <laughs> so give them, give them some space. Uh, you know, if you have to block them, delete them, if you have to delete your own apps, whatever. Okay, same with LinkedIn, whatever. Uh, landlord, whatever. And then also in your own mind. So when you're exercising, when you're meditating, when you're going for a walk or cooking, all these things that are forms of active meditation, because it's mindless, repetitive action and motion. Put that out of your mind. Let the idea come to you, rather than you putting the idea out there. So now you're the one who's desirable and that energy is seeking you. And then when it lines up, it's gonna be so exciting and so much fun. So thank you so much for listening. I hope it softens your energy and makes you see how these things are truly possible. This also works very, very well with money. People often say when I stop worrying about money, money just came to me. So stop being fearful about money. When Whatever you do, enjoy the doing of it and try not to Think about it. If you're making pasta, just enjoy stirring those noodles and <laughs> stirring the sauce or pouring olive oil and enjoy your meal. Don't think about what it costs you. Don't think about what you're going to eat the next day if there's leftovers. Just enjoy the moment and let life surprise you in the most delightful way. Ah, <sighs> beautiful. Beautiful message and a beautiful day. I felt so inspired and it came to me and I really, really loved it and I'm so juicy. I just had to say something. So thank you for being here. If you'd like, you can go find me on TikTok, email me, write to me, literally write to me, send me things, and um, read my articles on medium.com. Thank you so much for being here. I hope it's made you feel better. I look forward to all your messages in the future, and I try to get to, as, I try to, get to every single one, actually, but um, sometimes people unsend them, or they just write, and they say, actually, never mind, it worked out. So I try my best to get to everybody. I appreciate your patience and all of your love and support, and until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.